Wolfpack Nation. Like it never even happened, match recap. I'm Derek Paul here today with Wolfpack member Eli Thayer. And um, Eli took the show on the road this weekend up to Ludlow, Vermont against uh, Black, Black River Rugby Club. Um, shows on the road, but uh, I understand a similar result that you guys have been having. To, uh, if you wouldn't mind, give us a little uh, re recap of the match. Yeah, so we got to play Black River. They're out of Ludlow and the little bit of the surrounding area. Um, we did. We got another win, which was good. It was, I think, the final score was sixty-nine five officially. Um, yep. Lots of good in the first half. You could tell our guys were a little bit tired from the travel up there, even though it's only an hour. Sure. Just not fully into the game. But by the second half, we were just running on all cylinders. So I had a really great game. That's excellent. So kind of sticking with the game plan, you know, working through your systems and uh, you know, kind of sticking with it seems to be been been very successful for you guys so far yeah. this year. Yeah, we're ten ten games winning in a row if you include last season all the way this season. And we're looking for one more win for this last game of the year. That's excellent. We certainly want to get to this weekend's upcoming match. Um, just to round out this past weekend up in uh, Black River, who took home uh, Man in the Match honors? Yeah, so Black River nominated one of our forwards, Jake Iceland. Uh, he had a monster game, just hard running, hard tackling. Uh, and they actually nominated myself as the back, uh, just for dictating the play. Congratulations. Kicking. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, Monadnock Wolfpack, our coaches, they wanted to recognize another forward, Patch Zorn, mm -hmm. who, again, he, he scored four tries this game. Wow. He, I don't think he missed a tackle. He was a force to be reckoned with. Uh, they wanted no part of him. And then another back named Ryan Medhurst, who, um, again, all, everywhere on the field, great job ball, doing the ball carrying, catching kicks when uh, Blacker was kicking over to us. So just outstanding games for all. Everyone, it's excellent. It's nice when uh, all aspects seem to be uh, firing on all cylinders. So right. you know, really, uh, that's how it's hope hope to have it happen. Of yeah, course, you definitely. know. So good to hear. Um, and you had a beautiful day up there too. Ludlow, of course, this time of year, gorgeous and uh, sunny and you know, kind of crisp day for you guys. It it's was a real rugby day. It was right? perfect. It was perfect. Excellent, excellent. Um, looking ahead now, um, this coming Saturday, which is the twenty sixth. Mm -hmm. You guys are back home for the season finale, correct? Yep. So what do we got coming up? Yeah, so this weekend we're playing the other undefeated team in our division, uh, Upper Valley. Mm -hmm. the, I believe Upper Valley Mountain Men. Okay. And games at 1 o'clock at the Pat Russell Field on Carpenter Street. Um, we're looking for, it's going to be a great game. It's going to be highly competitive, hard-hitting, fast-paced. Uh, they have a lot of really good athletes on their team. So it's going to be great there. We're also doing a second day of donations and fundraising for Jiraiya, who is battling cancer. Yes. Uh, the first Saturday we did it, uh, about three weeks ago, two weeks ago now, mm -hmm. we raised about $300. We're just looking to kind of boost that up a little bit more. Hopefully we can get to the five, $600 range and donate all the proceeds to her family. That's super awesome what you guys are doing for, for the, that family. Uh, um, I'm sure it's, uh, it's, it's a great gesture. I'm sure they're very appreciative. Um, you know, they're, as Eli mentioned, this is this is it for the for the fall season. Another undefeated team. If you haven't had a chance to come out and take in some of the Wolfpack this season, um, you've really got to come check it out. It's it's exciting. This is going to be a, a, a very anticipated and, and um, you know a very difficult game. I think for both sides. So. Yep. Um, doesn't get any better action than this here, I'm sure. Right. Um, and then I understand after uh, this coming game, you guys have a little bit of a layoff. Is that correct? Till the playoffs? Yep. Yeah. Last year we ended up doing our championships in about three inches, four inches of rain, and it was, just made it for a tough day. So this year we are going to have our playoffs in the spring, mm -hmm. and then two weeks after those playoffs, we're going to do a crossover with what's called the Empire Union, which is a lot of New York State. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a, a crossover tournament to have a regional champion from our division. So it's going to be really cool, but it'll be nice to have this time off over the next couple months to rest, recuperate, uh, get everyone healed and healthy. Get everyone healed, absolutely. That's that's great to hear. And um, again, that is this Saturday, 1 o'clock, uh, the 26th, against Upper Valley. Um, come root on the Wolf Pack. Last chance for a little while here. And... Um, Eli, best of luck to you guys. Congrats you. on all your success you've had so far this year, and hopefully you can close out the fall season with another W. Yeah, I look forward to the last match recap of the year and uh, ending it on a good note. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us again for uh, the Like It Never Even Happened match recap. I'm Derek Paul. Again, thank you to Eli, and uh, hope to see you guys all out there Saturday, Keene, Carpenter, Carpenter Street, and uh, Rudon the Wolfpack.
Thanks for joining us.